what's up guys? I'm here in uh, San Diego, California at a Riverwalk golf course. Um, today I wanted to show you all how you can shoot lower scores right away without actually having to get any better. The way you do that is through knowing where you should and most importantly should not hit the ball. Uh, what I like to call bitch play. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I play like a bitch and uh, hopefully at the end of this video you know how to play like a bitch too and shoot lower scores. First hole, par four. To the left, we have a trolley. Uh, if you miss left, your ball is likely to catch the next ride to Petco Park, and uh, nobody wants to watch the Padres. So I'm not even going to concern myself with the middle of the fairway. I'm aiming dead right. An important tip for learning how to play like a bitch is aiming for the center of the green. It takes a lot of pressure off the shot. Aiming for the center of the green doesn't attract the ladies, but guess what? It gets me pars. I pushed this ball way too far to the right, but guess what? Not a big deal, because I missed on the correct side of the fairway. Safety first. Look at that shitty ass fairway. Anyway, no reason to pull out a hybrid or three wood and blast the ball over the trolley. Taking out a 7-iron, club I feel comfortable with, and just advance the ball. Third shot, about 125 yards away. Bitch ball. The biggest way to shoot lower scores is through lack putting. Unless you're within 15 feet, you are not trying to make that putt. I know as well as your wife does, you're not Tiger Woods. Draw a 10-foot circle around the hole. Get it in the cup in two putts. Make it easy on yourself. Here's a prime example of a risk reward. There's water on the right. If you go over it, you've got about 50 yards left to the green. But I'm not doing that because we're playing safe defensive golf. I'm going right here. Before the stake, not even gonna mess around with the water. Let's give it a shot. Oh my God, that's headed right for the water. Doesn't matter though. Take a club that couldn't reach it. Lag putts are your friend. Another example of risk reward, water on the left. If you fly the water, you're looking good. I'm not going there. I'm going here. If I come up short, oh well, I'm safe. So as you can see, I hit this one like dog shit, but I'm safe, I was out of the water, and I can still get up and down for a par, so let's hope I can hit this one not like dog shit. Yes, I got a bogey by bailing out to the right, but whatever, I avoided the big number. Sometimes you'll get a hole like this where there really isn't any danger. So I reared back and swung hard, just in case my ex-girlfriend was watching. So I hit a good drive. Last thing I wanna do is screw it up. Flag is red, which means it's at the front of the green. I'm not gonna blow past this green. If it ends up short, if it ends up on the fringe in front of the green, I'm fine with that. I just wanna keep the ball in front of me. I don't wanna go off to the right or the left. Keep it in front of you. If I make this birdie putt, I'm gonna do the most cringeworthy Tiger Woods celebration impression you've ever seen. Expect anything different? 
some people just saw me do that Tiger Woods impression. Uh, they're probably thinking they should call security. Anyway, par three here. Um, bunkers on left and right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I keep the ball in front of me, meaning I don't wanna go too long. Uh, so if I end up short uh, in the fringe in front of the green, I'm fine with that. What I don't wanna do is go left or right. So take a controlled swing, keep it in front of you. Don't end up in the bunker. Yes, I missed my shot to the right, but I kept it out of the bunker, which is what I wanted to do. Now all I gotta do is hopefully get up and down for par. All right guys, par five, about 520 yards. Uh, there's a freeway to my left. So uh, last thing I wanna do is uh, have my ball hit a car and have to pay for damages. So I'm gonna aim to the right. No reason to take out a three wood and try and crush it to reach the green in two. Take out a club you feel comfortable with, advance the ball, keep it on the fairway. I was left with an easy 95 yard shot, and for me, I'm just aiming for the center of the green. Don't do it again, don't do it again. Oh my God, you asshole, you look so stupid. Once again, freeway to my left. I'm broke. I don't want to hit a car. I'm aiming right. Outside of 15 feet putting downhill, Lag putt. Last hole, pretty easy tee shot. The goal here is to just hit a good one so I don't go home suicidal. Last hole would have been nice to get a birdie, but can't complain with a par. Uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, there's nine holes. Um, hopefully, as you can see, I don't do anything extraordinary. I don't hit any spectacular shots. I play safe. I keep the ball in front of me. Um, I don't try and reach par fives in two. Uh, and I think if you do that, if you play bitch ball, as I like to call it, you're going to shoot lower scores right away without actually having to improve your swing in any way. Uh, it's just playing smarter. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, let me know, I'll make some more, and uh, peace.